now in the body of Christ that since Trump Pence has been in, that now they have been elected, they're saying that is proof that the end of the Luciferian age has come to a close. That God has allowed his, his, his two prophets, in a way, his men on earth, to bring forth a kingdom of God on earth. And folks, this is a false, heretical doctrine. Now, you know, whether Trump knows it, Pence knows it, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't think they know any of this. I don't know. I, I don't know them. But what I'm saying is that this is what now is being fed in the body of Christ. This is the now the, the latest apple from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil that the enemy of our souls is tempting many in the church saying, look, you, you aren't really living in the last days. Look what God has done for you. Look how God is going to change things. Look, he's going to, you know, we're, 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 we're going to, you know, abortion is going to try to be abolished. You know, Christians are going to finally be able to have a voice again. I mean, truly, truly, God is in your midst. Truly, there's no, you didn't need to, you know, you guys did all that you could, repentance and all that. But, you know, the, none of that was really necessary. <clears throat> God gave you the peace and safety. <clears throat> And all you had to do was recognize the fact that you were never living in the last days to begin with. Listen, that comes from Satan. That, that is a lie from the enemy of our soul. So the same gentleman on our Facebook page, he writes back. He says, don't be upset because the world is not going to end. I know a lot of doom and gloomers are upset. I know it's going to be the end of Satan's reign on this earth. It took me a while to get my senses back. So this is the latest belief system. And, you know, this gentleman by the name of Frank is not the only one who believes this. Now, now that Trump Pence has been in, or, or not, not inaugurated yet, but now that they have gotten to seat for the presidential election, there are many in the body of Christ and now even question if we're living in the last days. They're saying this actually proves that God's held his hand back. Folks, he has not. If you're just tuning in, you missed about 30 straight minutes of me, uh, of the, really the Holy Spirit showcasing how late the hour is in a way that you're not getting anywhere else. People don't know. There are so many that don't understand how late that we're about to see. When they say peace and safety, <clears throat> we're about to see sudden destruction. We are about to see sudden destruction. Oh, but how can that be, evangelist? Now the U.S. is going to be in good relations with Russia. Now the president of Syria, President Bashar al-Assad, is congratulating the new administration that's about to come up, the Trumpins. And now Christians will be able to rule and reign. Just look how many Christians are joining the Trump administration. Listen, I don't care if Pope Francis himself joined the administration. We have been given one of the greatest signs that we are... Seeing a false peace and safety, not just in the U.S., but worldwide, but the U.S. is helping leading the charge. Again, God put Trump Pence in for a reason. But it was to blow, it was to sound the alarm as to the final trumpet before his soon coming. Not saying that it's going to be their job. They're just in position. It's our job to recognize the signs. Look, Jesus said, Jesus said he was going to give us signs of the times. Jesus told his disciples, because they asked him, Lord, tell us when will these things be and what will be the coming of the sign, you know, and what will be the sign of your coming and that of the end of the age. And Jesus unleashed on them. He said, I'm not just going to give you a sign. I'm going to give you multiple signs. And as watchmen on the wall, he has told us in Matthew chapter 24, in Mark chapter 13 and in Luke chapter 21, he says, when I tell you, I tell all, watch. Watch for these signs. The very first sign that Jesus talked about was deception. Deception. He says, don't let any man deceive you by any means. Now you may say, well, that's kind of a broad statement. What did he mean by that? Well, word always confirms word. You can go straight to the book of 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 when it talks about how the lawless one will come in deceiving. Go with me. We're still in 1 Thessalonians. Turn a page. Go with me to 2 Thessalonians. There is now a concept of a kingdom dominion or restoration theology that many in the body of Christ are eating up 
from that rotted tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Satan has tempted the souls of man and the body of Christ in these last days since this presidential election to believe that now we are going to have a universal kingdom of God on earth. That we were never living in the last days. On the contrary. On the contrary. The Lord says in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 3. Let no one deceive you by any means. For that day, the day of the Lord, will not come unless the falling away, meaning the forsaking of the faith. Don't let anybody tell you that the falling away means rapture. We already broke down what rapture men in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 17, when it talked about being caught up. That means harpazo. You can read that in, Greek, in the Greek lexical. But when we're talking about falling away in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 3, we are talking about in the Greek lexical the word apostasia. Not see ya, I'm out of here, but apostasy, a meaning apostasy. It means a literal forsaking of the faith, an abandoning of the faith. He says, let no one deceive you by any means, for that day will not come unless the falling away comes first, and the man of sin is revealed, the son of perdition, who opposes and exalts himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped, so that he sits as God in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. We, the, the, in other words, folks, the last days is not done. God did not stop the last days because of this election. God is not saying, I just held my hand back and I'm just going to wait maybe another hundred years. Wait till this generation dies out and, you know, go at it with the next one. No! We are the last generation. We are looking at the final trumpet. The Lord is telling us to get ready. Be ye ready because there is now coming down like a false blanket, like a false security blanket upon this nation and around the world. Because this nation is a nation that has precedence over um, uh, uh, the other nations in the, in, in the globe. There's coming down a false, as we're tuning in right now, as we're live on it right now, there's a false peace and safety security blanket being covering now this nation. It's just as bad as the Jezebel one that was on it. It's just as bad, folks. And the Lord says, go with me, go, go with me. Same, same chapter, verse 8. And then the lawless one will be revealed. And then the lawless one will be revealed. We're still living in the last days. There is still an antichrist that will be unveiled, folks. It will be unveiled. And if you believe... That we're not living in the last days because of a goofy election. If you have cast off your faith, if you have cast off your, your, your confidence, if you've cast off the crown of glory that God gives to those who are looking for his appearing, you will be deceived. You will be deceived. The Lord says... Then the lawless one will be revealed whom the Lord will consume with the breath of his mouth and destroy with the brightness of his coming. The coming of the lawless one is according to the working of Satan. With all power, signs, and lying wonders. And with all unrighteous deception among those who perish because they did not receive the love of the truth that they might be saved. And for this reason God will send them strong delusion. That they should believe the lie that they all may be condemned who did not believe the truth but have pleasure in unrighteousness. Folks, there's so much happening in the spirit in these last days. And unless you're seeking God for yourself, not through your mom or through your dad or through your pastor, not through your girlfriend's Bible study or men's study group, for yourself. It, as, if you are not seeking the face of God, shutting everything down for a certain amount of time a day, to go before the throne room of God, to go before him in the holy of holies, in the presence of the almighty, for yourself. 
you are going to miss this and you will be deceived. Listen, this we're at a very crucial time. The devil's not playing games. And you know what? Neither is God. They're, 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 we, we cannot continue on in our walk in Christ in a hanky-panky, once in a while, catch you later, see you next week. I'm not sure, uh, uh, you know, I'll write, I'll, I'll, I'll pen you in and then cancel the appointment thing. They don't know, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. You have deceived yourself already if you believe that you're going to be able to carry on a relationship with the Father of Light, with your, with the Spirit of Truth, who leads you and guides you into all truth, once in a very blue moon. The Lord is speaking to us very loud and very clearly here. Things are happening so quickly in the Spirit, as I was saying. That if you're not seeking His face, you're not going to know it. You're going to think that it's either dragging, it's taking too long, or everything's fine now. But when you go before him and you seek his face, you're going to see something. You're, you're, you, you will see, you will be told, you will be imparted by God himself. Very different reality than the reality that is being programmed to you right now uh, through the media, through the, the uh, alternative media, through other people. To continue watching this broadcast, please show your support by visiting our website, www.openyoureyespeople.com, and help keep us on the air by placing a donation today. P.O. Box 9570, Rancho Cucamonga, California 91701. Until next week, may you be richly blessed.